Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Linux tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about top command. So let's begin. Top command is used when you want to display the processes and interact with them in real time. For example, if I write here top, then you will see a lot number of processes are running right now. For scrolling down, you have to use the down arrow key. Okay. And for scrolling up, you have to use the upper arrow key. For listing the all the options that can be used, you have to press the question mark or H button. Okay, so I am pressing here question mark. Then you will see these are some of the options that can be used. Now I will be talking about some of the important options one by one. Now if you want to go back, you can either press Q or you can press the escape. So I am pressing here Q. Now there are a lot of process parameters that are currently showing up. For example, there is process ID, there is user, priority, nice value, time and command and so on. Now let's say that I want to customize it. For that, you will press the button F. That is the lowercase F. Okay. Now there are a lot of parameters that could be printed in our output screen. Now those which are marked with the asterisk, these are currently showing up. Okay. Now let's say that I also want to show the parent process ID. Now using the arrow keys, I will first go to the parent process ID. Okay. So now I am in the process parent process ID and after that I will press the key D that is the lower case D. Okay. Now as soon as I will press the D, then you will see it is also marked here. Okay. Similarly, let's say that I want to remove the memory usage. Then again, I will press the D. Okay. Similarly, for if I want to remove the CPU percentage, I will press the D. Okay. Now, another thing is that currently if you see the output, so I will go back here, you will see that parent process ID is at the end. Now, I want to bring the parent process ID in this particular location. So, how can I do it? First, again, I will press the lowercase f character. I will go to the parent process ID. Now, I will press the right arrow key. Okay. So it will become something like this. Then I will move it to the top, right? So currently using the upper arrow key, I'm moving it to the top and now I will press the left arrow key. Okay. So now it is reached after the PID. So first we will have PID, then PPID, then user, then priority, nice value like that. Okay. So again, I will go back with escape and now you will see our parent process ID is in this location okay now after that let's say that you want to find out the processes that are running under a particular user for that let me open another terminal and here i will log in as uh, user one okay so i'll do here su dash l of user one and write the password so currently i am logged in here as user one right and also note that the currently the bash is running under the user one right so i will minimize it and now I will press the key that is the U that is the lowercase U. Okay. So now it will ask me which user, right? So first of all, I will write here wiki. Now you will see a lot number of processes are running under the wiki user. Similarly, I will again press lowercase U and now I will write here user one. And now you will see the bash process is running under the user one. Okay. Now I will again press the U button and now I will leave it to the blank. Now when I will leave it to the blank, then all the processes will be shown that is owned by any particular user. Now after that, if you want to find out any particular process using its name, then you can press the capital L button. Okay. So I will press here capital L and then you, it will ask me to locate a particular string. Okay. So I will be writing here bash, right? Now the processes are highlighted on the basis of their name. That was our search string. Our search string was the bash. So the processes are highlighted accordingly, right? Now we can also send the signals to a particular process. For example, currently, if you see this particular bash process is running under the user one, right? So I will open here our bash and now to send any particular signal to a process, we use the button that is the lowercase k. Okay. Now it will ask me the process ID. So the process ID for this bash is 12679. Okay. So I'll write here 12679. Okay. After that, it will ask me which signal you want to send. Now I will write here 15. Okay. But if I press enter here, it will say me that the operation is not permitted. Now, why it is happening? Because the, I had opened the top command using the wiki user and I want to terminate the process that is owned by some other 
user okay so by default it is not allowed that the one particular user can interfere in the process of some other user okay so for that i will first quit it so i will write here q okay and i will again run the same command with the sudo okay and it will ask me for my password right now again i will search for let's say the user one processes and the process id was 12679 okay so i will write here k lower case k and then i will define the process id that is 12679 okay and now i will press enter and now i will give the signal as 15 note that the default signal is also the 15 right so if i press enter you will see here that it has been logged out so the root user has the ability to send any signal to a particular process but a normal user cannot do that now after that i will again switch to all processes using the u and then i will leave it blank now by default the processes are in sorting order according to the percent cpu usage now if you want to highlight your current field that is being used for the sorting purpose then you can press the key that is the x that is lowercase x now you will see this particular field values has been in bold characters right now after that after pressing the x you can also press the b button which will more further highlight it okay now let's say that instead of percent cpu i want to uh, sort the things according to the state of a process so for that you have to press the less than button okay so i will go i will press the less than button now it will switch to the state of a process okay now the processes are sorted according to the state similarly i can go more in the left hand side with the less than key okay similarly we can go here and similarly if i want to move the sorting field in the right hand side then i will press the greater than key okay so i will go to the right hand side now you will see the sorting is done according to the user similarly if i, I want to go further to the right then i will press the greater than key okay so now i will again go back to the user and if i reverse here then you will see the sorting is is changed okay so to make the sorting in reverse order you can press the capital r key right one thing to note here is that the processes in this interface are updating in every three seconds for example if you want to change it if you can press the button here d okay so it will give us the option to change the delay which is currently set to the 3.0 so you can make it 4.0 or you can reduce it to 2.0 okay now the processes in this interface will get update in every two seconds now there are a couple of other options that you can use for example there is the z key which can be used to change the color okay so as soon as i will press the z key then you will see the color scheme has been switched to the red right and here also the bold color is little bit different now these are the most general use that we use with the top commands to, if you want to explore more then you can press the h in smaller case h key and you can play around the different options that are available in interactive mode okay so i will press the q here and i will again close it with the q key okay now one last thing is that you can also open the top with some initial options for example you can use dash u option if you want to view only a particular user processes okay so i'll write here top dash u wiki now you will see only the wiki user processes are showing up now even though i had used the u option it doesn't mean that you can't change it in the interactive mode for example here i can do the root okay so all those things i will be able to do in the interactive way also if you want to view all the other option then you can go to the manual page and look at all the options that are available okay so if i go above there are a lot of options that are available in the option field okay for example previously i used the dash u option just like that there are other options that you can play with okay so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video